today's video. Yeah, I'm just bedazzling this. Bedazzle, not bedazzle, or God forbid, bedazzle. I made a mistake, and I'll get it wrong. <laughs> Life is a learning curve. For those of you who don't know, I'm graduating. When you see this, I will have graduated. Woo, go me. In the UK though, a lot of universities, especially the older ones, do not feature mortarboards. This is a mortarboard, or some people want to call it a graduation cap. This is a mortarboard. We just don't have them. It's not part of our graduation uniform. So I ordered on a thousand, along with a lot of stickers. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna talk about the future. <laughs> While I stick grandsons all over this, and my first thing that I'm gonna do is put my hair up because I straightened it. That's too hot. I can't I can't do this. It's it's too hot. Ah! So many of you guys have asked me about what the future holds. And honestly, I have no idea. Ooh, it's done. I have absolutely no idea what the hell I'm doing with this or with my future. It's really, really scary. I think you guys have gathered. I'm such an. Oh, wow, this is exactly. It's almost perfect. I think you guys have gathered. I am a planner. I really, really, really like to know what the hell is going on. So you can imagine that I am really, really freaked out right now. It's not just me, most people I know are. We're coming out of structure that we've had since as long as we can remember. When has the year not started for you in September? If you're younger than 21, it's never, ever been like that for you. Definitely not that you can remember. I'm making a template first. I don't wanna, I don't want to ruin this. Like we've just all been basically thrust into the most bizarre kind of limbo and I really don't know what to do about that. I guess aside from make a video. <laughs> I don't I don't know what's gonna happen now. I've always been the girl of the plan. Here is my mortarboard. How does this hang? How does this work? Top, bottom. I hope a lot of you who are all of me can leave me comments being like, don't worry Emma, limbo doesn't last forever. I don't think generally that's how we feel and I don't like the idea of feeling like I'm in limbo. And like I'm falling or like I'm treading water. That's how it feels. I'm not a fan of this feeling. Plan for my mortar board. I'm gonna decorate this area, decorate this area. I'm gonna have 2019 here, I'm gonna have unemployed, and I'm gonna have amateur. Because I'm dealing with this through cynicism, okay? Nobody be like, oh Emma, but you're I don't wanna hear it. This is how I'm coping. Let's check how you spell amateur before I ruin this. I'm pretty sure I can spell unemployed, but I'm gonna check anyway. Can you see that? You can kind of see that. This is about as much planning as I have right now. This is like the first time in my life that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing come September, which is really, really bizarre. Is this just like graduate life? Do you like lose all sense of like yearly structure and cycle if it wasn't for like Christmas and then, I don't know, Valentine's Day. How do you hold structure as an adult? I don't know. Really, I'm not thrilled to find out. This is the back. This has to be this way around, right? Let's not fuck this up, Emma. Do, 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 do. Oh my God, what do we stink stick? I'm gonna be so devastated. Okay, it's fine. They are going to stick. Like, I've never had a point where I don't know what I'm doing. I've always, always, always known. So, it is hella freaky. I'm not gonna, like, be around the bush here. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing for the first time. And that is so not me as a person. I always know, you know, I'm just, I'm one of those people. I've always got a plan. I always know what I'm doing next. You can always ask me, Emma, what are you doing? Because I can always give you an answer. And now, I can't. I feel like people try making plans with me at the moment, past September, and I'm just like, I cannot give you an answer. I genuinely don't know what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna be. I just don't know now what I'm doing with my life, which is really shit. Having this online presence, people do keep asking you. It's a normal question to ask someone. People asking, what are you gonna do with your degree? What are you doing now? I'm like, ah! I don't know. I don't know, and it sucks. Here we go. I did my degree because I really, really enjoyed it. I think it was just so much fun, and I'm so, so happy that I did my degree. But the thing is, that, that kind of degree doesn't have a set career path. I don't know 
what I'm supposed to do now. It's not like I've done economics and now I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go be an investment banker. It's not like I've done medicine and then obviously I know what to do next. Luckily, like quite a lot of my friends are in this position. Literally no one has a graduate job. I'm not promoting my course very well. I'm, I do complete, nobody will have a graduate job by the end of it. Who the fuck are these people who get jobs while I'm still at university? How have you had the time? But like, I don't even know why I'm talking to you about graduate jobs. You all know, every single one of you knows. Well, maybe you don't. Hi, if you're new, my name is Emma. I make films. I applied for master's degrees. I'll just tell you. So I applied to Cambridge for a management degree. And I, rather unsurprisingly, got rejected from that. You can be as smart as you like to think you are. You can be in Mensa and whatever. Still not gonna take you. They're fucking loss. But like, that was kind of scarring. The main thing about that though, I think was the way that I found out that I'd been rejected. I went onto the, the application portal and it just said application, unsuccessful. That was it. I didn't get an email about it until three weeks later. Man, I have not felt the world like crumble beneath my feet quite so much as in that moment but then also be dramatically reinstalled under my feet in the same spiral of despair at finding out that I hadn't got this thing that I thought I wanted. Um, I really thought I wanted to do a management degree. I really did. But then in that same spiral, I remembered that that's not fucking true at all. Then I looked at the film course that I had like bookmarked in the back of my brain while I was still looking for bachelor's degrees. I had to wait to do it for my master's anyway. I sent my application almost two months ago, so it's kind of like, <laughs> Every single person has said to me though, like, if they don't take me, what the hell are they looking for in terms of students? Like, uh. I'm graduating with a 2-1. Hi, 2-1. Oh, I had an anxiety dream I need to tell you about in a moment about graduating, it was quite horrendous. It's gonna be fine, and these things always work themselves out, but it's really awful having to wait. And like, as happy as I am for like, my friends who have things sorted and like my siblings and like all that stuff I'm still you know I'm still worried for me <laughs> like I really want to like enjoy it and congratulate you and be really really happy for you I mean I think we've all experienced that like where you really really want to be happy for someone and you genuinely are but unfortunately every time that you're like yay part of you is like also ah, I'm fucked I hope I don't project that to my friends but that is still sometimes how I feel and it sucks it sucks nobody wants to be that wanker what the fuck am I doing now? I don't know and that's really, really unsettling my colour wheel has been fucked up a little bit but we're gonna work with it because I'm an artiste. <laughs> this is gonna look so fucking dope once I finished it. I wish I had some like chalk or something like fabric. Fabric chalk. Fabric chalk. Oh man, like if you're at school and you're like bitching about being at school and you can't wait to get out of school and be a grown up, you're wrong. Let me tell you. You're wrong. I thought I would like this level of independence and I was always like, oh you know, people are just saying that, people don't really like they don't get it. I'm like yeah, they do. They've been, what, 16, 12? We've been there. We can tell you this world isn't much better. <laughs> Sweats nervously. The problem with wanting to do film. Okay, actually, no, I'll explain why I wanted to do a management degree first. So I started my application as well to UCL and Imperial because my rejection happened between me actually applying to those other two places that I realizing that I really wanted to do film school instead because that would make so much more sense, mainly in terms of getting hands on equipment, getting hands on like, you know, tutors and people in the industry, that's what you're paying for. I mean, I'd love to know what they can teach me, you know, like how can they like push me? What can I like do next? But like my fear is the fact that this is like one of those industries where you need to know people, your talent really can only get you so far. One of those things that always sucks to say, but it's just so true. So it's like, shit. Ah, what color scheme am I going to do? Let's focus on that because that is much more important. Ah! I'm just gonna make noises at you for an entire video. I hope you understand that that's what you've clicked on. Let's do warm tones and let's do cold tones down here. I'm gonna go do this, this top bit and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is what I've got going so far. This took a horrendous amount of time. Anyway, I was gonna tell you why I applied for management degrees. It's because I thought that it was a good idea. Looking back, 
now i'm like like why the hell did i think that would be a good degree for someone like me okay i see why like similar to being a director which is why what i was thinking i was like oh look you know it's like being a director or a producer and they even put that in their like thingy prospectus whatever which was like yeah you know transferable skills something everyone would need i was like yeah yeah brilliant sounds so great no. This requires an unprecedented amount of concentration that I was not prepared to give. I just thought, I don't know, that it would be something that I would be really good at. I still think that maybe management is something that I would be good at, but I realised I think making a career choice like that, what I'm actually doing is almost deliberately cutting myself off from what I actually want to do. You know, why would I choose to do something which is absolutely not what I want to end up going into because I was thinking as well over while I was doing all of my like exams and all of those kind of things all I had was this really intense like pent up creative energy like it was really shit like I, all I kept thinking the entire time was oh I have this video that I could make or oh you know what would be a really good video would be xyz and I just kept thinking about it like that the entire time so it was so shit when you were just there trying to like, you know, write an essay. But all you can think about is all of XYZ creative ideas that you really want to do. Like that's so annoying. Which is one of the reasons that like, in the end, I just didn't end up applying to UCL or Imperial. I just didn't see a point. I think my parents are still a little bit annoyed about it, but at the same time, it was just not going to make me happy. And I knew that, I really, really knew that. That just was not gonna be the thing that was gonna make me happy, always gonna get me anywhere further down the career path that I actually wanted to be on. Out of all of the times, would I start backtracking on wanting to do film now? Like, okay, I've done my non-specific bachelor degree. You're supposed to specialise if you're gonna do a master's, so why would I not specialise in the thing that I really wanna do? So. I made my decision and uh, I applied to film school. So I'm currently in a weird limbo, which is really shit because obviously you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, but that's what I've done now. So I just have to wait and see. I have no idea if I made a mistake on my application, if something has gone wrong somewhere, if it's already too late. I just don't know what to do. Oh, I do, I have a plan A, I have a plan B, but I unfortunately do not have a plan C. So maybe I need to, get one. Uh, am I gonna have enough rhinestones to do this entire thing? I thought I had a lot, but now I'm not so sure anymore. Glue isn't sticking properly to these rhinestones. If I didn't have like nails for once in my life, I would not be able to do this. But that wouldn't be too much of a surprise because we know this is absolutely not my forte. Why is my channel not full of DIYs? Because I don't have the patience nor the desire. I think this is the most creative brainwave I've ever had. And I stole it from Legally Blonde. Thank you, Elle Woods. Two, 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 yes! This looks so cool. <laughs> I am so fucking pleased right now. This looks fucking sick. When this is done, it's gonna look so cool. I might jazz it up with some of the little extra ones if I have enough left. I'm having such a good time. This is weirdly therapeutic. I was not expecting this to be so therapeutic. Editing this is gonna be so stressful for me. Right now, doing this, I'm having a great time. Oh my God, is this going the right way up? Yeah, it is the right way up. Oh my God, is this tassel gonna knock off loads of rhinestones? Better fucking not. I have now put too much, absolutely too much effort into this. Far more than any adult woman should be doing. I'm enjoying myself. Tremendously. I'm really sorry if I got to actually use the Wii music. If you haven't seen me use the Wii music on that intro, it's on my Twitter somewhere. So yeah, I applied to film school. My goal for this year was still to get to a thousand subscribers on my film channel. I have like 700, so if you want to contribute to that, be really, really appreciated. I make films. I quite literally have had a camera attached to me for maybe, I don't know, since I was like nine. It's my entire life. It's literally my love if I didn't have a camera I would lose part of myself it's it's funny I'd probably lose part of myself if I didn't have this YouTube channel like it makes me so happy I keep pausing so I don't know what I just finished saying Woo so I have the 20 it looks a little wonky I think I'm gonna go for like a ready theme on this side the graduate world is a really scary world because I've just got no idea 
the fuck's going on? That is like the general gist and theme of it, you know. If anyone ha knows what's going on, they are probably bullshitting you. Don't worry too much. Is what I'm gonna go ahead and tell myself. Oh no. None of these are coming off very well. Wait, shit, where's my, oh, there it is. Here's my plan. Uh, it was in the middle. Oh ho, now we are in business. Ugh, this looks so much better now. I think this is one of those things that is really shit until you finish it. Just pretty much like everything I've ever done in my entire life. I just wanna make films, guys. It's just, I think the thing that freaks me out the most is that I'm going down a path that's got no, the only way to describe it is like, it's a ladder with no rungs. So many directors and stuff and filmmakers, they don't go to film school. I'm worried about applying for graduate jobs, getting one that pays well, like I'm gonna bide my time or something. And then as a result, I never make any more moves to actually get into the industry that I wanna get into. That's my fear. But then am I also putting it off because I just don't wanna do it? Or am I putting it off because I don't know what I'm doing? And it really sucks and I wish I did. But I think that's what everyone is feel feeling. Like a lot of my friends, none of my friends have jobs yet really. People are leaving London, people are coming back to London. It's really weird. Also, I feel like I finished my degree really quickly compared to other people, even though now I've only done three years. So many people have done longer about it, which is literally so fine. And I kind of wish that, I really wish I had the university safety bubble, but I don't. I'm like, uh, I miss the academic bubble. Can I please go back? It's like a weird second womb. Now I need to not put 18 because that would be absolutely drastic. Drastic. Horef, her oh, I don't know. I'm not worried about graduating, it's just then I'm gonna be a graduate and I can't hide behind my little shell. It's like, oh, I really am a graduate. I really should have a job now. I'm also not looking forward to people asking me why I don't have a job. I mean, as much as I've looked, I enjoyed people asking me what I'm gonna do with my degree. I don't know. Is this right? Nothing. For real though, I did my degree because I enjoyed my subject. That's why. There you go, you have your conclusive answer. I did my degree because I wanted to and my parents told, told me to so I was like okay because I mentioned before that I wanted to do film school but they suggested very nicely that maybe I should do a bachelor degree first and I agreed and now I was in the wrong place and it's fine I fixed it every oh that's not a good placement oh dear I'm gonna miss the days when my biggest problems are Emma you put the rhinestone in the wrong fucking place and now it all looks weird oh no it really does look weird that's not good is it Ooh. And the other thing is I'm feeling like I change with my YouTube as well, like, I don't know for how long I'm gonna make, you know, videos like this, so I'm enjoying it while I can. I like my vlogs, but again, don't know how long that's gonna last. It's just I've never not had direction, and I'm just so used to just knowing what's going on, and now I don't, and it's like, what? It honestly doesn't bear thinking about. You know, other people are going away, and other people are moving on, and then you do feel left behind. Even though it's no secret that a lot of people who end up with graduate jobs also just hate them. A lot of people who go down that path of knowing exactly what they want to do and there's a ladder and they can just do it. A lot of people end up miserable, so it just depends. And that's kind of hard as well because it's so hard to get like any concrete advice that you know will apply to you because everything is very subjective. So it's like, eh, uh -huh. like, even this video, this is just my fear. The rest of you will probably be totally fine. Mainly because I love to stress. If you didn't know, this is the most rambly video I've done in a long time. Time. Maybe I should have just done this as a live stream or something. Come join me while I bedazzle things on my YouTube channel. This looks so great to any employers. As well, I'm worried that then if I have to apply to normal jobs, I'm gonna stop being able to make anything that I want to because then it's gonna be a problem. Things I'm probably gonna cut out because I'm chatting out of my arse. I guess it's just at the beginning of this school year, I just figured I'd have it sorted by now, you know? I started applying and looking for things back last year so it's kind of scary that I've got to graduation and I don't know what I'm graduating into. I feel like I'm graduating into a void. Nothingness and fear. That went deep really quickly. Here we go, here's the 2019. So at least even if I only bedazzle the bottom it's gonna look really cool. Ooh, it's a little bit sparkly. I'm proud of this so far. Let me tell you about my anxiety dream that I had. So, 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 so. I had a really bad dream. It was horrendous. My bad dream, I turned up to graduation. I wasn't wearing the right clothes. I was not wearing the right shoes. So obviously my response was to throw a tantrum. And then I got really, really, really upset. And then I got even more upset that I got upset. Threw a huge tantrum. I ruined my makeup. 
I get very, very sweaty. And when I get upset, I go bright red, which is like probably the worst thing about me. I hate it so much. And then, because I know I've gone bright red, I get really upset that I've gone bright red. And then I get even more bright red. That's why I will foundation every single day for the first day of when I change schools. Because I was like, fuck no, no one is going to embarrass me today. So basically we're just crying. My friend Annabelle was trying to console me, which is very nice of her in the dream. I was late and I was in the wrong place and my shoes really, really hurt. They hurt so much. And then because I've been crying and put myself back together, I actually missed the proper like diploma thingy. So I had to like run and run onto the podium and be like, wait for me and see if there was anyone there to give me a diploma because if it hadn't happened, I wouldn't actually graduate. <sighs> Everyone was looking at me really shit. And then I woke up clearly. My brain hates me. It's gonna be 39 degrees in the UK. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm just stressed and I don't know what's going on. It's basically the mood of this, of everything. I'm gonna bedazzle the rest of this corner and I will get back to you. I don't feel like I can divulge to you how many hours later it is, but I don't know why I thought this wouldn't take so long, but it did. Oh my God, what? This looks so much better on camera than it does in person. I'm having a crisis, but at least I can make really shitty arts and crafts. It looks really shit on me, it's not new for me at all. But there we are. This is my legacy. I've been having a wonderful time in my crisis. I think I'm just having the crisis that every single graduate has ever had. What the fuck am I doing now? And I'm graduating into a fucking void. I don't know what I'm doing next. Am I going back to university? Am I going to get a job? Am I just gonna make films? Am I gonna do YouTube? I don't know. So please don't ask me what I'm doing now <laughs> because apparently this Thank you very very much for watching and I'm sure that I will see you soon because clearly I've got nothing better to do. Thanks for having all my jazz and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.